Hey guys, welcome to another server miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007 and today we look at the Nature Plus plugin. So this is a really fantastic plugin which allows you to really easily create custom forests um, without going around just planting loads of saplings and then waiting for them to grow. It's very quick and easy to do. You can customize them so much. Uh, so let's just jump into it. So if we look in front of us, you can see a jungle that I've made. Um, and as you can see, this is not a jungle biome. So you can literally choose any type of tree and just stick it anywhere. So what we're going to do is go through the commands on how to create our own little forest like this um, and then how to edit it and whatnot. So let's go ahead and go um, right here, for example. So first of all, we're going to want to do forward slash help and then nature plus. This is going to show us all of the commands. And first of all, we are going to do the nature saplings command. So this toggles saplings uh, to create forests. Um, so if you place one down, you can set it to create a forest around the sapling. Although if you do not want this, you can set it to off like so. Then if we do forest slash nature and then time, you can set how long each sapling forest will take to spawn the trees. So obviously if you set a low number like 10, that's going to spawn them very, very quickly and put a lot of strain on your server. So make sure you set that a bit higher than I did. Then if we do forward slash nature and then seed rate, this is going to be how long after each tree is spawned will the next tree spawn. So if I put 10 again, each tree will spawn every 0.5 seconds or 10 ticks. And then we can go ahead and do forward slash nature range and then how far away do we want them to spawn. So the seeding range is within 50 blocks around us. So then we can set the different formations. So there's center, ring and flat, and that will change how the trees spawn around you. And then we can go ahead and do forward slash nature, organic, and then whichever tree you want. So let's say acacia, and then a hundred of them, and they will start magically spawning around us very quickly as we set a pretty high seed rate. And as you can see, they are spawning and there is lots of them. So this is going to take quite a while to spawn all of those different trees, but as you can see, the plugin is working fantastically and it looks really awesome. It looks very, very natural. When I've tried to create forests myself, they always look a bit, you know, handmade and uh, unrealistic, but this one looks super realistic and very, very cool. Then if we do forest slash nature animals and then on and off, you can set whether you want animals to spawn in this forest. And then if we go ahead and go to the second help page, we can set a few more things. So if we do forward slash nature and then grass on or off, you can toggle grass to spawn in your forest. Then we can do forward slash nature capacity and then one. And this will mean only one forest will be able to be generated at one time. And this will stop your server from being overloaded. So if we want to protect an area from a forest spawning, we can create a safe zone. So the way we do this is going to one corner. And then if you do forward slash nature safe zones with an S, new the shape so a rectangle and then the name so let's call it one uh, this will create the first point similar to uh, plugins like world edit then fly to the other corner directly opposite and we are going to go forward slash nature safe zones and then two here like so and that will set the whole safe zone so if we look from above this big rectangle well small rectangle i should say um, is protected from forest so if we do nature safe zones and then show, it will show how many we've created. And then if we type in the specific name, it will give you the coordinates. And obviously if we don't want it anymore, we can do forward slash safe zones, remove and then name, so one, and that will delete it, simple as that. So that's everything pretty much in game. Let's go ahead and jump into the config file. So here we are in the SM Picnic controller in the nature plus folder. And as you can see, there is a single config.yml. Uh, so let's go into that. Uh, it's not too long. And if we have a look, we can see what we can change. So up at the top, we have some plugin information. And if you are a bit confused, you can always use the contact up here. But we can look at the nature regeneration configuration initially. Um, so do we want forests to be able to regenerate? If we do, set that to true. And which worlds do we want them to regenerate in? And then scroll down a bit more and you can change the speed. So the important part here is a lower number means it will regenerate faster. Um, it's the interval between objects generated. And then the nature type. So adaptive will be the vegetation in a particular biome, or you can set it to a particular type of wood like oak or birch. Then you have the range. So the range 
of blocks around each player where trees can spawn and you want animals and grass like we did earlier. Then we have various tasks. So how many tasks can each player have at one time? So set it to one, you obviously don't want to overload your server. Then the sapling forest. So do you want a specific range when people place a sapling? So the maximum range is 200 where a forest will be generated. And then the maximum speed, as you can see here, it's similar to above where the lower number is faster. So one is going to be very, very quick. Um, so we would probably be best to increase that to a higher number so it doesn't overload the server as I mentioned earlier. So that is pretty much how you edit the config file. It's not very long um, and obviously you can do most of it in game. So if you want to download this plugin, you can check out the Spigot page. Here it is. It's a pretty new plugin. It was first released Friday in fact. Um, and as you can see, there is a lot of information and screenshots, various commands uh, that you can look at to help create your own forest. If you have any trouble, make sure you contact the developer. So if you want to download the plugin, make sure you hit the big download now button. Uh, if you want a server to host it on, you can check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. If you want to check out more of my plugin tutorials, there'll be a link in the description down below. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.